Hi everybody, it's me Josie. Um, I got a pack in the mail today. No, it's not my jelly plate. I thought my jelly plate was going to come in before this pack. This pack was ordered from the UK and the company is um, Colorishes. Oh, let's see here. There we go. Look at that beautiful elephant. And I think that's done on fabric. Okay. So what I got was um, these wooden blocks, which I want to use on my fabric. So that's one of them. You guys check out their site because they do phenomenal things with fabric. It's just, um, and there's even scrapbooking. You can use these on paper as well show them two by two so the way you use these is um, you get kind of dabber um, you dab the paint on top of here and then you press it into you know what you're going to to stamp so this was the floral box and you know they have different sizes which is nice too because you can you know make bigger ones and then put that in there okay and that so that was the floral box and, and look at the boxes they they send them to you like adorable this little tie that ties around now they sell the stamps separately as well too, um, especially the big ones, because there are big ones. And this would be my leaf box. So that was the floral. And even though it's called a leaf box, there's still two little flowers in here, actually three if you want to call this a little flower. So we got these beautiful big leaves that I can stamp into fabric. Or, like I said, you can stamp into paper as well, too. Um, there's a couple of videos out there, too. On um, There's a video. Look under Jamie Malden, and you'll find videos using the jelly plate and these as well, too. Then there's some of these really tiny ones that are adorable, too. I think I got five in total of these little ones. Just don't want to cooperate with me. Four of them. And the last one. So those two. And floral one. Now these are made in India. And if you do go on to their site, there's videos of them showing them how they're made in um, in India. They're all carved by hand. I'm not sure. This, the, this wood has a funny smell to it. I'm, um, I think they mention it in the video written that what kind of wood is being used it's kind of smelly it's not you know it's not bad but um kind of smells but that's okay that will probably wear off in time so i got these two boxes and then i ordered separately these two leaves which you could see i've already tried because i just couldn't wait actually i waited uh, to open up the pack up until after lunch and and um <laughs> <laughs> instead of doing my dishes I came here and I had to open up the pack and and try this out and um, oh they sent me actually a gift a beautiful CD because they sell CDs and um, the CD is number one and it's actually showing how to do felt felt punching. They, they're they using this sewing machine that looks like a sewing machine but it's not. Um, and they're doing felt and this is one of the CDs. Now I'm sure they have little short videos of these CDs that they sell as well too but very interesting, very clear to follow, very everything. They I've been following this um, site on um, on YouTube for for about a good year now and you know always watching their videos they have such inter interesting stuff um, and anyways the um, okay it's not the best part of this pack 
but what I received just like I was oh wow I can't I couldn't find it here I, I you know I was I was always asking people that have packs coming in I would ask my husband I said but do you ever have this and what they sent me around the, the thing was the big um the big bubble wrap which I don't have here so I'm gonna have fun with this using it on the jelly plate and I was really happy about that because I go yeah I got extra texture so I'm just gonna show you really quick one leaf put that away and I do have to get the hand of this you guys so I'm gonna look for you know what I'm going to use? I'm just going to use, well that's kind of thin. I don't want to use that. Yeah, I just might as well grab this and a paint color. I got a darker one so you guys can see it better. So I'm going to, there we go. Let me see if I can find something to put the paper on. I'll put it right on here. The, the, um, the paint I'm sorry so I can dab my little sponge in the paint now I've never seen them I don't think I've ever seen them using using them with ink pads I don't know if it would work out I'm gonna have to try so get a nice glob of paint and of what I see on the videos, you have to really pack it on there, the paint. Okay, so here we go. Yeah, I'm going to try that again. See, it kind of sticks in the middle here. I'm going to have to get a hang of this, you guys. So, just, you know, try it a few times. But look at that. I'll bring you down closer. Okay. See that? Isn't that beautiful? Now, can you imagine this on your jelly plate? On your jelly plate? That would be simply gorgeous. Okay, now in front of you guys, I'm going to try it on the, um, I want to try one on the ink pad, See, just see what goes on. And you know what, I have nothing underneath here, so I'm thinking if I put some kind of pad, even, you know, what's left of my yoga pad, if I put underneath whatever I'm going to be doing, um, I'll probably really get a good imprint. So let's try a nice juicy ink pad like color box chalk okay you see in there you guys and it does show up yeah okay I'm gonna bring it up close to you now so yeah it's probably not going to work as well as um you know a, a rubber stamp but it does do the job you know if you want to use it on your mixed media and everything I'll bring you down again so that way you guys can see it from closer and I'll just move the paper over a bit so it's not in <laughs> I've got it with all the paint here mm, there we go okay so that's the stamped that's what I used on the on the ink pad and it comes out fairly well too. So yeah, I wanted to show you guys. Like I said, I was hoping that my jelly plate would have come in before because this is going to be part of what I'm going to be doing with um, the blanket I want to make for my son with the jelly plate and, and these wooden stamps. So as soon as that comes in, there will be a video and I will be showing you how to do this. And um, it was perfect like uh, the, the reason why I thought this pack was going to be coming in after is because like I just ordered it a few days ago like it's incredible I probably ordered it today's Monday I think I ordered it on Tuesday of last week 
and um, and here Friday was a holiday as well too so we can't count Friday but um, it got here really soon and and that's really too bad because they were they selling they're selling jelly plates in a pack with these stamps so you can buy a jelly plate a normal size jelly plate actually they have a huge pack I think it's 150 pounds and I think they even give you two or three sizes of jelly plates plus these there's even the alphabets and um, so if I hadn't bought my jelly plate yet I probably would have ordered it from them um, even if I had to get because I've only seen the 8x10 on this site um, I wanted the 12 by 14 to for the fact that I do want to do a lot of printing on fabric so I do want my squares of fabric to be you know fairly a good size to to cut down and then you know add to an add to a blanket so you just you want that extra margin on your on on when I'm working with this fabric of course they can be small little squares as well too but my idea right now is to have big squares and so Hopefully when it gets in, I'll do a video right away, but um, I'm really happy about these. It was a really nice, you know, I love these. They're, they're so cool. Go and check out their videos, Jamie Malden. And if you want to check out their site, it's Colorishes. Um, Colorishes, let's see what it says here. <sighs> yeah, www.colorishes.com. Um, Okay, and this is uh, an invite to a uh, textile holiday in India. Wow, that must sound, sound that sounds like fun. But this is what you the kind of things that you'll find on their site, and you know they'll show you how they look when they're all in, you know um, quilted and everything as well too. Really, really interesting site, especially for those who love to sew. Okay, check it out, you guys. And um, I will see you guys later. Bye.